What's going on everyone? Tim Steve Fader back again with another video. Um, so I'm just doing a prediction video for the Steelers this year. Um, a little preview before this, the preseason games start next week. Um, I'm super excited for football to be back. Um, so let's get right into this video. Uh, but before that, I, I go on, don't forget to click and subscribe, like the video. And, all right, let's get into this video. All right, first, week one. Week one, we got, we're at the Buffalo Bills. Um, last year, we lost to them. It was a bad game all around. Um, they had a good year. They, they, were, they went 13-3, and three, um, they, but they lost in the championship game against um, Kansas City. Um they picked up a couple people, Mitch Trubisky and Emmanuel Sanders. Um, so I got this game as a loss only because I don't know if they can contain Stephon Diggs and Emmanuel Sanders all together. So I have the game as a loss. Um, so week two, we got the Las Vegas Raiders. Last year they went eight and eight. Um, this, uh, I, I'm gonna say I'm gonna give them a W. I'm gonna give the Steelers a W in this game. Um, so week three we got the Cincinnati Bengals. Um, they went four eleven and one. Um, then again that fourth win should have not happened, but not I digress. Um, they lost a key player in AJ Green. White and wife, the wide receiver, and but they gained Mike Hilton, who was our our cornerback, and he from last year. Um, so I'm giving the Steelers the win in this game due to the fact that you know it's the Bengals; they still don't have a line. Um, Joe Burrow's coming back from a major injury, so who knows how he's going to be doing. Um. So, yeah. Uh, week four. This was the game that it was. This is not a new game, but this is one of the games that I had trouble predicting because of the drama that was going on in Green Bay. Um, Agent Aaron Aaron Rodgers didn't want to play, and uh, I mean, after what happened in the championship game, they went, but they went 13 and 3 last year, but they lost to Tampa and Tom Brady. Um, but I'm going to have to give the Steelers an L because, you know, I'm an angry Aaron Rodgers is a good Aaron Rodgers. Um, yeah, so week five, we get the Broncos at home. Um, they went 5 and 11. We beat them last year. Um, they, they acquired Tay Bridgewater, so they got a quarterback now and better than what they had. Um, I'm getting the Steelers a W because I think our defense can handle our their offense. Um, so week six, it's an 8 o'clock, it's, it's a night game. Um, at Seattle, they went 12-4 and four last year, and they lost to the Rams in the wild card game. Um... These are one of the games I also want to say I want to give them an L, the Steelers an L, because I don't feel that they can contain Russell Wilson. And I, it's just one of those feelings. Like, you know, you got to contain one guy, and then you got that calf, or the, the, one of their wide receivers, and he is one, one of the greatest that they had from last year as a rookie. So, yeah, I'm going to give them the L here. On um, week seven, it's a bye week. We get our bye week. Um, but we come back at week eight on Halloween night against the Browns. See, now, yeah, they're, they went 11-5. They beat us in the wild card game. But they lost to the Chiefs in the divisional round. Um... I think the Steelers will get payback this game against the, the Browns. So, 
Yeah, I just think it would be it would be a dog fight. It would be a fight, but I think the Steelers will win. Let's see. Week nine. The Chicago Bears are home on Monday Night Football. Are, are here at mo- on Monday night. They went eight and eight last year. Uh, they mm-hmm. lost a little wild card. Um, they got a new quarterback, Justin Fields, and they signed Andy Dalton. Um, I got this as a W because I just don't think Chicago is going to be that good. And plus, you got a rookie quarterback possibly starting over to Andy Dalton. So I'm going to be giving Steelers the victory. Um, week 10, we got the Detroit Lions coming into town. Um, they went 5-11 and last year, but they got – they traded Matt Stafford for Jared Goff in the offseason. Um, honestly, I don't think it will improve the Detroit Lions at all, but we'll see. But I got the Lions – Losing this game against the Steelers. Um, yeah, I just don't think they're good. Um, so, Sunday night, we got the... On week 11, we got the... We're at the Chargers. We're in, we're in Los Angeles. Um, they went 7-9 and nine last year. Um, they picked up Matt Fowler in the offseason. One of the Steelers' offensive linemen. Um... I see maybe a – I just see the Steelers winning. So I just don't know. I just – when I was looking up people who they signed and if they improved or not, I just couldn't see who they got that would improve them at all. Um, week 12, we're at Cincinnati. I pick Steelers to win. Um, now week 13, we are, the Ravens are coming to town. They went 11 and five last year. You know, they all, that's all that bullshit with, you know, with COVID restriction, with the whole, you know, with their COVID thing. And it's just like, and they went and they lost the the divisional round. They won the wild card game, surprisingly. And, it, but they lost the divisional against the Bills. So, and, but they only picked, the only people that they picked up was Sammy Watkins and Alejandro Villanueva, who won't probably won't even help that offensive line. Um, so, I got the Steelers picking up the victory here. So, it, it, it is what it is. Um, Week 14 is a Thursday night game. We're at we're at Minnesota. Um they went 7 to 9 last year. I have the Steelers picking up the victory that they, they just don't have no identity. They don't have that quarterback and they don't have that offense after they traded away Stephon Diggs. And I don't know what they're planning on doing. Um So all right, next, we got the Titans. Um, the Titans last year, they were, they again, we, we went through a lot with the Titans as well. Um, they had, we had rescheduled the game because of the COVID. Um, they went 11 to five. They were, they were, they were, they were one of the undefeated teams, but then they lost to us. Um, I mean, and they picked up Bud Dupree in the off season, but um, honestly, I have them beating us, maybe, but I could be wrong. Uh, so yeah. Next game, we got oh we after Christmas. What do you know? We get a gift to Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs. We have to go to, and we have to go to Kansas City. That's a huge L. I, I, I'm sorry. I just don't know how they were been able to contain Patrick Mahomes uh, with this. Maybe they may shock me, but... <sighs> sorry. 
but I just don't know. Uh, Monday night football, we got the Browns come back into town. I have them winning this game, and then we go to Baltimore on the ninth. I pick up the victory, pick up the victory over Lamar Jackson and the and the Ravens. Come on. And for my prediction, twelve and five, win the division. What do you think? Please let me know in the comments below. And you know what? I might reply. I'm just kidding. I probably will. Um, but yeah, just let me know in the comments where you think the Steelers will be at the end of the season. And I hope you enjoyed this video. All right. Have a good night.